Hello, this is Scott Manley, and today in Kerbal Space Program, we will be use flying entirely using the power of the sun and uh, ion engines, but mainly we're getting our power from the sun. So what we've got here is a small automated aircraft. I've used the cubic uh, probe body to build my uh, aircraft around. So there's two ion engines on there, uh, a structural wing with 19 solar cells on each side. Now that should be more than enough to power it, uh, once we get the sun up and of course as luck would have it we start up during the night So we got to wait until the sun is mostly overhead until we start generating enough power Until the solar cells will start to generate enough power to power these ion drives now on paper these little cells produce 0.75 at perfect efficiency so 16 of them should be enough to produce the 12 units of power required for each solar cell BC immediately on liftoff, uh, I'm running low on power, so I have to scale back my uh, energy a little, or scale back my throttle just a little. It's not really a throttle when you're <laughs> when you're using electrical power. You're throttling the electric power to the ion drives or something. But yeah, with 19, it should have been okay. So we'll have to investigate what's really going on here later. But yeah, you can see that as we're as we've got this running, we're picking up its velocity very, very slowly. I mean, we've been accelerating for several seconds, and we're just passing 20 meters per second. Hopefully, this uh, ginormous wing surface will help us get airborne, and you can see it just starting to try, bouncing a little. But there we go. We're now moving upwards into the air, and. It's just a question of trying to balance the need for lift versus the forward velocity. Uh, you know, walking might actually be faster than flying this thing. But we see we're, again, based on the throttle, we're kind of leaking electrical charge. Even though we should have enough, we're producing a 96% power and I don't think any cell is occluded, so... I suspect there is a limit on how much power a, you can store. Maybe there is a charge cycle that uh, is, is too, the granularity is too coarse. But uh, we, we can figure that out later, I guess. So I'm just going to perform a very, very careful turn. Now, instead of rolling this, I am yawing it, which means it's going to take forever. The reason I'm yawing it is because I want to keep the solar cells angled upwards so that I'm generating power. If I turn it, if I roll it, then my sun exposure will actually drop, and it's entirely possible that I lose power and crash into the ground. Probably not, because this thing will no doubt glide like a star. Folding away the undercarriage, uh, of course the undercarriage is needed for liftoff, uh, for sitting on the runway. Unfortunately the undercarriage weighs more than the rest of the aircraft put together. There's no like, lightweight undercarriage at this time in the game. So uh, I have to make do with what I can. <laughs> the biggest challenge is that you need uh, 1.5 tons of undercarriage. And with two ion engines, you're producing uh, one tenth of a ton of thrust. So you can see why this is such a big deal. Uh, stowing the undercarriage apparently, according to the devs, reduces the air resistance. So make sure that happens. But yeah, once they've got it in flight, you can use the Alt and S key to trim it. And it will more or less sit in a very stable configuration. I also included the avionics package here because it will make the thing vastly more stable. You can even time accelerate this thing. And it will fly in a straight line providing you've set the correct uh, pitch trim. It's really quite impressive. I could have left this going for an hour based on the, the xenon gas supplies. Uh, I think that that might have been over um, optimistic because what will happen is as time passes the sun will move and the power will drop off and eventually I won't I won't be able to run my uh, engines at full power so I'll have to back those off and, and eventually the sun will set. I'm not sure this can fly. Now in the real world NASA has actually experimented with unmanned solar powered aircraft but they didn't use ion engines they used uh, electric electric driven propellers obviously they uh, were also including an onboard battery charging system that would recharge it while in flight and they wanted to basically make it last through the night that was their goal so they could put up these aircraft as essentially low flying satellites 
Their most successful one was Helios, which was essentially a huge flying wing covered with solar cells. Anyway, we're going to come in for a landing here and you want to cut all your power basically and slowly come down. The hardest part about landing is more or less making sure you're level and you know every time you hit the ground you bump up and get more altitude so it's very much a very very gentle bumping to bleed off velocity here holding the brake key during the landing cycle to try and lose a little bit of velocity look at that thing it just just wants to go it just wants to stay in the air it is so beautiful so anyway nasa's helios managed to fly uh sustained at like something like a hundred thousand feet but unfortunately it uh, eventually broke up apparently what happened was the the wings became too dihedral which means they flex upwards, and it set up an oscillation that eventually tore the aircraft apart. Anyway, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.